Okay, on today's bugs and stuff, we're gonna talk about the front suspension. Okay, we're gonna get into the front suspension. So first things first, know what pan you have. The frame heads on the pans are different. As you can see here, there is a 65 and down link pin frame head, and there is a uh, 66 and up uh, ball joint frame head and then you have the Super Beetle suspension, goes from 71 and up. Uh, again, it's a totally different setup, as you can see. You can look at the VIN number in the back here. Let's take a walk. It's a VIN number back here, and the inspection plate. You can see it right there. You can look that up. Use your uh, repair manual and cross-reference it. I always... Uh, I recommend always having a repair manual when working on these cars. So if you don't know what you have, you can look at that number, cross-reference to see what you have, whether it's link pin or um, ball joint. Okay, just for a moment, I'm going to focus on the uh, bolt holes on the beam itself. This one, as you can see, is for a link pin setup, but for a ball joint, they're different. So here's a picture. I'm showing here the link pin and the ball joints. Uh, bolt holes are not the same. The locations are not the same. From left to right, the distance is about the same, but from vertical up and down, they are totally different. So the best way to find out which frame head you have is just to measure them real quick and figure out what you got. Um, a lot of times in the past, guys will switch out the frame heads. You can do that. You can interchange these frame heads uh, from the older version, link pin, to the new version of ball joints. So you wanna be sure what you have before you start ordering any type of suspension. So going on to my suspension here, I chose to go with the MP GT-5. Um, as you can see it here. And then I selected the uh, CB Performance uh, Brake Combo, as you can see here. And I will leave links to, to the description in the description below, um, so you guys can look them up if, you're, if you choose to go this route. But I wanted to go this route because I'm trying to kind of want to go for the, the cow look. But anyway, um, looking at these, there are offsets to them. You have to consider all of the offsets before you start picking a suspension. Okay, here's a sketch that I created to look at the overall suspension. It includes the four inch uh, shortened beam, uh, the drop spindles and brakes, and it also includes the wheels that I selected. So we will be going over this uh, shortly, but we're gonna start off with uh, talking about the offsets. Okay, shown here are the offsets. As you can see, there are three different types. Uh, one's positive, one's zero, and one's negative. Uh, positive shows it that the wheel is getting tucked in towards the uh, the vehicle, and then the negative pushes the wheel out uh, from the vehicle. So you have to be very careful on what you choose as far as uh, wheels rubbing against the fender. Uh, just be mindful of that and choose the correct offset that you need for your vehicle. Okay, here's a sketch of the comparison. Um, on the left-hand side is the stock Volkswagen wheel that I'm using. It's the 205 millimeter bolt circle one. They call it the wide five. Uh, as you can see, it has a five inch uh, wheel width and it has an offset of 1.870 inches. And on the right-hand side is the MP GT5 wheel that I'm using and it's five and a half inches wide and it has an offset of 0.787. So there will be a, a big difference um, between the two. And I will show you here shortly what I'm gonna be doing, a little bit of math. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take the 1.870, 
minus the 0.787, and it should give me the, the 1.083, uh, meaning that the wheel's going to stick out a little further since the offset has that difference. So the difference between the two offsets from the stock and the aftermarket wheel, the MP wheel, will be 1.083. Okay, now we need to look at the uh, the drop spindle and see what the positive offset it has. Uh, it has a 7 8 inch uh, positive offset, which is 0 0.875. So we need to add that to our equation, which would be we're going to take the 1.083 uh, positive offset that we already have, add 0 0.875 to that and you should get uh, 1.958 as uh, complete uh, offset just for the wheel and the drop spindle. The very last thing we need to consider is the width of the wheels. As you can see, I talked about earlier, uh, the width of the wheel of the stock is 5 inches, where the MP wheel is 5.5, so that means I'm going to have a quarter inch um, stick out uh, more than the stock wheel. So we need to add the 1.958 plus the quarter inch 0.25 should equal to 2.208. Total offset, meaning the drop spindle, the wheel, and the wheel rim that sticks out. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the overall suspension uh, after all that crazy math. Um, it's not that crazy. We have 2.208 uh, that's positive, meaning that it's going to be sticking out further than stock going away from the car. Um, it will be 2.208 on each side, which is a total of 4.416. So uh, looking at the sketch here, I decided to go with the 4-inch beam. I'm not too concerned about uh, the less than quarter inch um, for the for the wheel. Uh, it's it's on the rim. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, we've put uh, larger wheels on the front of Volkswagens before, and uh, they seem to fit fine. Uh, but since we're in this case, we want to lower the the car, and then we have um, these offsets from the aftermarket parts, we have to look at a shorter beam. Okay, going with the selection of stuff, as you can see here, this is not the MP wheel. This is not the MP wheel here, so. But we'll talk about the brakes themselves. This is uh, from CB Performance. They use a, an aluminum hub, and they bolt on a cast iron disc in the back here, as you can see, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, it makes the, the whole hub arrangement uh, rotor disc arrangement a lot lighter than using all cast iron uh, it's the high grade aluminum so it won't won't break on you and then uh, what came with the kit also was the drop spindles the drop spindles came with it they don't use welded ones I believe they use a uh, all machined which is even better you don't want welds to break uh, they came with nice calipers I really like the calipers They're pretty cool I think they have their their uh, name on it, CB here. And then uh, they come with also stainless steel braided hose, which is pretty nice. Um, so that's why I picked those. I'm gonna talk about the Valley View Works. They're a local company here in the Northeast. Uh, they gave me um, a great deal on the suspension. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but I would talk to a guy named Sam. He's very uh, easy to talk to, he's available. So um, I can tell you what I got from them. I ordered the beam, short beam, and I talked with Sam to figure out the, the length of beam and all that stuff. So we went with the four inch, this is the four inch uh, beam adjustable, as you can see here. It's meant for a link pin. And I sent Sam the, uh, the drop spindle and he installed uh, the king pin and link pin onto the drop spindle itself. And he also provided these link pin carriers as well so it came out pretty good 
And let's see here. Uh, I already had the trailing arms already. Um, my recommendation is uh, definitely get the uh, German tie rod ends because the other ones are garbage. I bought some and they start to leak from the top, which was weird. And then also order from them these uh, these tie rods. Um, they're meant for a four inch shortened beam. German uh, damper. I'm trying to think what else we got going on here. Um, TRW um, steering gear box. I took all the grease out of it and I put uh, better grease into it. Um, as you can see here, I'm gonna go over this. Uh, this is a thin, thinner uh, shock tower here. It's for the body so the body can sit here. Because as you shorten the beam, the beam gets shorter this way. You don't want this to to get in the way of the get in the way of the body. Then I went with MP uh, shorter uh, shocks. I may go with uh, a different type of shock. Um, don't go with gas. Gas seems to be a little stiffer. Uh, for the torsion bars on the inside, I end up ordering from air cooled. I just told him what beam I was going with, and within a like, I don't know, less than a week, it, it came here pretty quick, uh, and it fit right in. Just perfect, real nice. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, please comment, or have any, if you have any questions, I will leave links below to where I got the stuff from, and uh, I will have more as we go through the pan and what I picked. Um, hopefully I was able to give you guys all the information you need. Uh, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.